like, you know, my big brothers are Sid and D-Ray and all, all those guys. Right. And then my little brothers are Gerard and Hannibal and, and all those guys. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I've had to have heated arguments with some of my OGs about them. Like, when they was just outright hating on some of them. Like, man, they, the white people only like them and they only get the deals because they, I'm like, fam, no, they work really hard. See, a lot of y'all got y'all money and bought cars and mm -hmm. jewelry and all this other stuff. That brother brought Final Draft and learned how to write a script. Right. This brother's, you know, I, I brag about Gerard all the time. I recently saw somebody say this, and, and I love my big brother, Corey Holcomb. I love him to death, Chicago OG, but he be saying crazy shit that doesn't make sense. Recently, he said something about Gerard. Now, this is so crazy. I just saw him, and we embraced, but he was being a little hesitant. I was like, but he didn't know I didn't see the Gerard thing first. Right. He called Gerard an industry plan, right? Because he said he had a sitcom, and he hosted a war. Just because you ain't got something, that don't mean everybody a plan. And that's my point. You call, I, you know, I got a little upset about it because I'm like, well, I've seen Gerard. I did Carmichael show with Gerard. Mm -hmm. Every single night, take that script home. After he leaves the writer's room with the writers, he took it home personally. Stayed up to about five, six in the morning. Had to meet us all on set at 7.30 to rehearse it. That's work ethic. You know yes. how people have success like that? Because they, they really put the work in. You're absolutely right. They fucking put the work in. And I know a lot of cats, yeah, I know you're not putting in that type of work. I love you to death, but you're not. And it's easy to say, hey, this person did it this easy route and did all this other shit because you don't know they work ethic. Right. You can't talk about you do, you write and do all this shit. It's, and it's, it's funny because I'm watching it from this older generation. And they all, everybody's like, yeah, you know, I was offered this movie, but then they wanted me. Which movie was it? So I can see what the f like, stop this shit. Because mm -hmm. every, some of us just worked our ass off. Right. Like, I was, even just hearing Cat hear all the things he's been through and why he didn't do this or go here and do this. Yeah, because you and Cat had some back and forth. Y'all cool now? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but it's, it's okay. It's okay, right. though. It's okay. We don't have to be. Right. Because his success is his success right. and my success is my success. What started it? Well, this is the thing about it. That Wanda Smith interview. Yeah. The one, the part nobody talks about is, for no reason, Cat brings up me, Gerard, and Hannibal Burris. For no reason at all. Okay. I don't even know, remember what the fucking question was. He just let it like, you ain't, you can't, <laughs> real, real, yeah, they gonna make you a style, little real, but you ugly. Yeah. So what the fuck I got to do with this? <laughs> so you, you was in there with... That's, yeah, that's the beginning of the interview. He, that's what made Wanda kind of start fucking with him. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> the whole Wanda back and forth for him is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. And, and, you know, and Wanda wasn't always nice to all of us, no. to be quite honest with you. Right. So it was kind of, it's very interesting that all this transpired. It, it was interesting. Especially to see those two. It's, it's the craziest happenstance of all right. time. But that's what it was, Cat. I don't know what even what that meant. He said they're gonna make you just star Lil Rail, but you're ugly. He said Lil Rail, Gerard, Carmichael, Hannibal can't walk the mall in Atlanta. I forgot the mall. Uh, Lennox. Lennox, and no woman would talk to them. And I, to this day, man, I swear to God, I, I ain't trying to start no shit. I just don't understand. I, look, I don't think I'm the finest nigga in the world. Right. But a short nigga with a perm. Man, you know he's gonna see this and respond. I don't give a fuck. God, no, I just... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 it, if we were both two regular niggas in a month. Right. And he has the perm and right. the mustache. Right. And I walk in like this with my regular shit. Who the fuck you think women gonna talk to? I don't know, Rail. I don't that, know. That, I ain't did it. I ain't did it. I'm just saying. So that, that's, the, that's the only irritating thing about that for me. Like Other than that, it's like, cat, brother, if I'm an ugly nigga, thank God, because that's why nothing didn't happen to me. Ain't nobody approached me. Right. Ain't nobody asked me to do shit. I guess I'm an ugly, talented nigga, right. and I'm okay with it. Man, Rail, God. <laughs> Well, why you come up here upset the car? I didn't do anything. You asked about it, and I'm just saying, like, and I and look, all comics, I, you know, y'all, all of us, like, man, we, everybody's like, come on, man, you gonna go? But Cat did say that shit. It was just weird. I just, I just, even when him talking about Jonathan Mays, it's like, how, who do Cat Williams think he look like? 
Like you're not an attractive person. You look God fucking that. weird. Ray up, Ray up. He does. How about you? Have you talked to cat? People dress like this nigga as Halloween, like him, not the character. Yeah. They don't when, dress as money, but they the, dress as Cat Wim. When the last time you saw Cat? <laughs> That's a crazy story, right? So, it was at the Emmys a couple years ago. So, this is when we into it. Like, we, this yeah, is happening. Yeah, y'all, okay, y'all go, y'all. We did the videos, it's happening. Mm -hmm. I just presented an award at the Emmys. I go backstage, right? And Chappelle don't know me and this dude beefing. Right. Chappelle sees me. Oh, Laurel. Oh, Cat Williams. Cat. You know Laurel, Laurel, you know Cat. Now we just staring at each other. Oh, shh. Dave is like, what the fuck wrong with you two niggas, right? Because <laughs> 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 we ain't saying Y'all Y'all just look at each other. Ain't nobody say and nothing. I'm balling my fist up. Like, you, you, you ever see the author meme? Yeah. I'm standing there with <laughs> We ain't saying shit to each other. And he's holding his Emmy. He has his Emmy in his hand. <laughs> that was the last time I saw it. Nothing happened. He just walked away. Y'all didn't say, hey, what's up, bro? Say, it wasn't, nigga. I was, cause I was still fuming at that time. It was like, yo, are we about to like, what the fuck about to happen back here? Cause it's. Kyle Morrell? Yeah, I'm a Chicago nigga too. So it's yeah. like, I mean, we about to do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. We about to turn the Emmys into the Source Awards. <laughs> You once said that you believe Cat was jealous of you. Do you still feel that way? Nah, I was just talking shit. I don't think he's jealous of me. I I, I do think he's jealous of Kevin Hart. And I, and it's so weird because he don't have to be. Like, brother, you are so fucking successful. Mm -hmm. Like, you're one of the most successful stand-up comedians we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. You didn't have the hype machine. Honestly, he's the benefit of bootleg DVDs. You remember what they... they, they yeah. Every, and this in Chicago, I remember being in Chicago at the time, mm -hmm. everybody had that Cat Williams special in their house. Right. And because, you know, bootlegger helped comedy at that time. Right. Because those people go buy tickets to see you. Right. Absolutely. The bootleg man really was your damn, he was your promoter. Yes. They watch you at the crib and you were selling all your shows and, and Cat benefited from that, man. Right. And I think, I think he's not even just stand up, man, like anytime you see him on screen. Oh, yeah. He just won an Emmy for Atlanta, right? He won that shit for Atlanta. He fucking, every time you seen him a wife and kids, like he was fucking great on there. Yeah. He was like, you see him on, like even the school dance movie, we know that's not a good movie. Right. But only thing you watch is that clip. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. fucking brilliant. Mm -hmm. And so like, and I'm, look, let me say this. I was just, I'm talking shit. We roast each other. We comics right. is what it is. I don't give a fuck. Whatever you say about me out this, I don't give a fuck. Rat's ass. Uh, but at the same time, I do, I, I really do wish that we could, I'm not trying to sound like some old let's get alone shit, but like, God damn, there's no reason why we can't do another Harlem Nights with all this great fucking town. Or like, not even Harlem Nights, but just a movie yeah. that features everybody. Right. You know what I mean? Harlem Nights were great. Man, like Nick tried to do it with School Dance, but like, let's find something with like a really good script. Right. Some really dope shit and like fucking get all these powerhouses on fucking screen together. Like, I'm sick of this shit. Right. It doesn't make fucking sense.